Hunter. <laughs> right, the gang is all gathered here. Sam Mills is along with the rest of the crew. Myself, Paige, Lady K, Maddie J, Flipbrick, Akira Coops, and, and Nefidor for all ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing today? We had... <laughs> It is, it is a good, it is a good day, <clears throat> and things are, <laughs> and I, d yeah. I do see what you put in at the, at the top. <laughs> oh, of course I'm going to keep an eye on that kind of thing. <laughs> God damn it, Lee K. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> sure, sure. Slow clap, slow clap, slow clap, slow clap. Back to... Actually, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I want to give her a minute. But while we wait, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Yep. So that's how it feels to be on the other end of that. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> so with so um You were muted there, hon, you weren't coming through. Mm -hmm. So Where you were when you told them. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. So we are finally back after t after two weeks. Um, I do have a bit of I do have a bit of house a bit of house cleaning to um, note. One of one of them, of course, is the fact that um, I have had this I've had this running gag of who of who wins the HP championships of regarding who ends up getting the highest amount of HP. Um for the most part everybody's in this everybody's in the same relative ballpark. But you'll notice I said for the most part. Because then we ha then we have Oris played by John who's <laughs> who has the most HP out of ev out of everyone, totaling at sixty at at this time, and I did I, not plan for this, ladies and gentlemen. I did not even I did not admit that. This I swear to God. Yeah. Okay. Player notes: this Oris as Human Shield. Now, granted, it ends up working in his favor, but the thing the the thing is. Something that they have that I've known since I, since I first reviewed em Ember Wind a while back, and some of the others have learned the har have learned the hard way is this is a this is a game where your assumptions on class design go to die because you you might see some that are going to be somewhat familiar at first glance. But when it comes to actual practice, that will not be the case. And of course, and of course, there's there's others where, what do you think they what do you think they'll be able to do, and what they'll actually be able to do, are not exactly one and the same. And I think it's I think the game is better for it because we don't have, because we don't have to deal with that particular. Eh. Um, issue of a lot of classes feeling samey, um, which is what I've seen in 
with some reports I get regarding the world's most litigious role-playing game. But since since we've been gone for for about two weeks, um, Kay, would you mind would you mind if I grab some would you mind if I utilize that summary that you had that you had written in the chat earlier today? Mm-hmm. Um. So, last time we left off, they had managed to get to the Silver Glades through that through that elevator, though encountered a cadre of Rift Mages, who well, who apparently were setting something up and wanted no witnesses, along along with bringing in their pets. I say pet, but I mean but when I say pet, I mean giant fucking centipede. Um. I rode a cow. <laughs> Shy Hulud. <laughs> oh. They and did I'm they, driving. I mean flying. Or yep. Whatever. They they our heroes did did find that they had some gold with the summit city seal on it. Oh. The the sent obviously the centipedes weren't nat, weren't natural and they also found kegs of gunpowder strapped to a strapped with a um, bomb attached to it. Fortunately, the bomb obviously the bomb didn't go off. It hadn't it hadn't been fully set when you when they showed up. After a bit of an interlude in the in the red market, and me, and meeting up with the with the girl that they had that they had met at um at the, at the bridge. The they had, they they had spent some time getting some supplies with the. Because once they head to the Silver Glades, um, it, that's where things are going to get dangerous. Since this, since once again, the Silver Glades was a place that was supposed to be a new expansion for the city, but was abandoned for things got fucked up un, for mysterious reasons, and the place is pretty much a ghost town. Um, the. As far as getting there, that was through a man named Hob, who took the, who took them on his ship, the Gilded Drake, which had a homing crystal in it, but was viewed as an insurance policy since the ship's a rental. As well, and the Gilded Drake is, has seen better days, but given the, given that time is not on everyone's side, um, when light when times are hard, even the devil eats flies. The ship may not have looked the best, but she had some special modifications. Mm -hmm. it's basically... And a couple of patches here and there, and, and it, it, it's skyworthy at the very least. It runs, it can get us to and from, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. It's She got it where she counts. Yep. Yipper. Yep. Yeah. But... As, but as you were getting clo as you were getting close to the Silver Glades, you ended up learning that those those stories that sailors tell and old wives tell about leviathans out in the out in the out in the sky are not are not exactly not exactly the fairy tales and tall tales that you may have thought because you guys are you guys are looking right at one one big fucking pur purple leviathan. And and that is that is where we left off last time, and that is where we'll be continuing, right? Because who doesn't who doesn't love a good cliffhanger? Wait, wait. So we're up against a <laughs> one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have the sudden urge to steal skull? It's What's not Monday yet. Cool? That's that's not for three more weeks. <laughs> By the way, I was more referencing to the Minnesota Vikings than the, the school chant we would have to do if I were part of the next episode of the Parliament of Geeks, available on the on uh, Milton Monk's YouTube channel. But we're not looking at this right now. Is <laughs> <laughs> the... you cannot well, shame I'm... people who have no shame. <laughs> So, I, 
Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa! You really gotta get that look at. That was so bad you do it. You better, you, I gotta call you out. You get it wrong. It's not. Whoa! Whoa! Who cares? It's a freaking laser going out of the dude's mouth. Exactly. Now that be that being said, as as it's very clear that the Leviathan is lunging at the airship you guys are in, you've got two, you've got two choices in front of you: fight or flight. Um, how fast is this thing moving? That's what I'm wondering. I was gonna say, do you want me to punch it? Sam. Um, Thank you. Sam. Not what I meant. Do you want me to punch? Do you want me to hit the gas? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. This so, only... so you've got you've got two options you can you can either try and do, you can either try and do, dodge and outrun the thing or you or you can try and break the charge by using that cannon Ooh. let's shoot the cannon and get and get ready to the 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 de ass the situation by the way punch it as in punch the punch the gas so to, to punch the button yeah. that'll make you go fast I would like to quote uh, a famous uh, vampire who said, "Get that bitch a cannon. Bitches love cannons." I was good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's That's the season for it. Anyway, uh, what button you want me to press for the, for the cannon? Mm -hmm. Oh, you fire the they damn cannon! Wait. All actually, right. Who has the best? Who has the best stats for it? Well, this, um. That's actually not how this is this is gonna go. But so here, <laughs> so here's the deal. I want all of you to make to to make a focus check. Don't roll yet. If you have um, airship weapons as an anchor, give yourself one stack of advantage. Where's the anchors again? Oh, there it is. Uh, In, uh, I believe it's inventory and bio. Yep, I'm looking right now. Da -da -da. So no advantage for me. I will go ahead nope. and just roll. Me too. If. Ah. Is there something wrong with the dice? Because they're all rolling the exact same number. Yeah, re-roll that. Yeah, that's what I'm on. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm out. Thank you. <laughs> nope, still failed. All right. I believe I have air, airship as a... <laughs> and I probably got the highest focus here, so... For for the stack, I where do I see... I believe I have uh, the... Um, the inventory the airship. Uh, If you have it in, there, in inventory and buy your anchors, if you have airship weapons as a anchor... I have airship weapons in there, yes. Okay, then under... Uh, at the very top of the character tab... You should see the, where it says normal roll. You should be able to put, add one, uh, hit the arrow. one stack. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I click focus. Roll. Yes. Fuck oh. you, roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, fuck you. <laughs> so it looks like uh, mm. and Gareth have the only two that got the win on this one. Mm -hmm. yep. Which fortunately is enough. As Sorry. the sky, as the as the skyworm ri rises toward the ship, you line, you're able to line up the cannon on a weak point in its midsection, aiming between a formation of crystals and a dense-looking patch of hide. You blast a hole in the creature's side. As a puff of dust erupts from the wound, the sky and the skyworm, the skyworm. What am I saying? Skyworm writhes in agony. Its charge is broken. It whips its head around, its filmy white eyes beaming down at the drake as it redoubles its charge. 
and cl closes gaps on on a in a um, instant. You so that just proved ineffective. So it did it. You did manage to hit. You did manage to hit it, but it did swallow. It did swallow you guys, and you you are now in it in its mouth. The do you see dull crystal shards along the wet, humid cavern of the Skyrim's mouth and throat, dimly marking the edges of the creature's gullet. You all stare down a long, fleshy tunnel lined with hundreds of ridged molars the size of anvils. Leftover chunks of metal, stone, and meat are wedged in the gaps between its teeth. The, to the tongue lifts and the throat clenches around the drake. The ship groans and the cannon rattles in its mouth as powerful muscles constrict and pull you down towards the belly of the beast. So, you can, so, <clears throat> you can either, you can either, br you can either brace the, brace the hull, retra retract the, gu retract the gun, or, or retreat to the um, hold. I don't think retreat is going to do us any good because we're probably just going to crush it way down until it gets to us anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. So. No, why not? All right. Since you guys reinforced the hole, um, each of you are going to get one. Each of you get one stack of advantage for the, for this check because you all are going to need to make a endurance skill check. Ooh, I got some good ones. Go ahead. Thank God I just got some points of that recently. Hey. No advantages. Come on. <laughs> one stack. <laughs> Okay. Also, who dropped the mail pipe? Oh, oh, there you go. All right, I'll take that. But I'm the only one who failed. <laughs> you can take it. You got, you got the HP. So I'm more worried about what's going to rest of us. You all hurl your bodies against against the walls of the sh of the ship, pushing with all your strength. You see sparks fly from the walls as the Skyworm's teeth grind through metal and glass, slashing at your arms and legs. As you plant your feet and stand firm, ignoring the blood running, de running down, the molars tear away the at the cannon and, and leave holes in the hull, but the drake holds firm. The, the ship survived... But it's go but it's going to need some repairs in order to if it's gonna be sky worthy again. Lovely. But just when it seems the pressure is about to collapse the hull, the crunching ends. You're you scrape over a final row of teeth and emer emerge in a rancid chamber somewhere in, in the beast guts. The Drake splashes down in a muck of blood, digestive fluid, and organ tissue. You're now so deep inside the Skyworm, you can hear the thrum of its heart rippling through the walls. A light pours through the ga through the gaps in your shredded hull. And you hear the soft the soft plink of crystal on glass, and find your navigation shard tapping against the compass casing. The cracked glass gives way, and the shard flies past your head and through a porthole. As you look out, as as it joins the matrix of a massive hearth crystal in the middle of the chamber. It's soft light pulsing in time to the heartbeat of the worm. The gem is big enough to support all of Gelspar, if you can repair the drake fast enough to get it back in time. Thick cords of sinew anchor the gem in place, while smaller shards of crystal orbit it, <clears throat> or orbit around it. In the depths of the crystal's core, you can faintly see a mass of muscular tissue. A cloud of miasma starts forming in the middle of the chamber, and you can see dark shapes flitting about the shadows and realize that these are slaughterfish, flying bloodthirsty scavengers feeding on the leftovers in the beast's stomach. They don't seem to notice you until the splintered mast of the solar sail keels over and clangs against the hull. 
The nearest cluster of slaughterfish suddenly turns their black eyes toward you as they sniff the air. With a feral chitter, they break off from the rest of the group and head straight for the drake. Which... Well, it seems is going to challenge us for our reward. I... Well, let's really go ahead not... and take care of business, man. Well, in the price All right. prices, we got... All right, everybody. I'm... Who's good at who's good at fixing things other than me? Don't uh, look at me. Um, this is an emergency situation. We got what we need. We need to get out. I am not the well, best. I'm, I'm good at hunting, so I'll so I'll be on one of the defense. Get the jet. Get get the crystal. Sample. You've got you've got bigger see. things to worry about than ju than just getting the crystal and running because. We've got bigger fish to fry, literally. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yep. Oh, Jesus, Sage. I've seen. Oh, no. Okay, so. I'm oh, taking. Oh, there! I take it those are slaughter swarms, the bigger ones? Yep, which are just slaughter. Which are just. Cool. Uh, which are exactly what you think they are. Yeah, it's cool. You know, monk. Fish. You know, monk. If you just want me to leave the campaign, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll just hang up the call. I, I, I don't. I know. I know when I'm not needed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did somebody order sushi? Okay. Yeah. Um. So, apologies for that. That was a. A, a screw up on, a screw up on roll twenties part because for some reason even though I know I loaded the mini it it didn't show up. Two of them have the same icon. God damn it, roll twenty. Yeah. It, it, the one that's so. Yes, yeah, I think it shows. One. I see it on my end. Okay, now I now I see who I'm I see who I'm missing. Oh, my my bad on my bad on that front. So it is. So there are there are a, there are quite a few, and with and with that in with that in mind. You guys should you guys should be able to see the map because it is once again combat time. I'll go second. Combat time. Mm -mm. I'll go first. Okay. All right. So we have the A, we have the A and B um, slots. Because the crystal is within reach, but you guys have your work cut out for you since. There's a, there's a few clusters of sinew holding the gem in place, but you have to pass through a sea of slaughterfish and sever all the heartstrings before you can carry that big ass crystal back to the ship. The worm stuff you're still in the worm stomach and there's a considerable amount of mineral matter, mounds of earth, clusters of stone and the rusted metal frames of airships. And and well, it smells how you'd expect a stomach to smell like. And to make things even worse, there's my there's miasma to, de to deal with in, in the area. So, on the on the plus side, cannon still works. <laughs> you know what? I got the fucking cannon. You go. You guys do what you need to do, and I'll jump in when you need me. So, thank you for the cover fire in advance. You see the yellow. You see the yellow square. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's that's where whoever's using the cannon. That's where they're gonna have to be. All right, then at my turn, I will move there. All right. So, who who's pick who's picking slot A? Or I am. All right. Well, it seems that uh, we'll have to clear the way. But first, so first. I'm gonna. I'm already in range of this guy right here. For a new little trick I pulled. 
you suddenly see him raise his staff while holding his while holding his beads, and you see a swirl of spirits form around him, gathering into almost an orb of energy in his in his in his staff. You have claimed men need much in death. Now you will join them. As he points his staff forward, he fires forward a blast of clamoring soul. <laughs> nice start. Nice start. I, th I, th I, I think roll 20 is going with the rule of cool on this one. Damn. Yeah, that one. Splat. Kill us, Arius. So, there's one thing of sushi for tonight. I don't think there's going to be enough left for sushi. We can make a, <laughs> we can make a nice stock hey, with hey, it. Hey, uh, look. Look, Gonda. At this point, this is no longer sushi. This is a fish fry. <laughs> anyway. Mmm, gumbo. Ew. Anyway. So is that thing still standing? Monk doesn't seem to be talking. Monk? Uh -oh. John, Discord I think you fucked. broke... Discord oh. fucked up. Um, I, was about to, I was saying, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> In that case, the soul, as the souls hit, hit, hit the, uh, the, the, the fish, they continually pierce through him Basically, be doing what they what the, the slaughterfish would do to their prey, just tipping, eat, tearing away at them piece by piece until there's nothing left. Mm -hmm. So as that, as that happens, and you see it completely dis, completely dissipate, um, that is that is one da that is one fish down. And you know what? I'm rich. To do it again, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna tend suddenly turn my staff forward. Yep, that one over there. Toward this one here. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden that board of souls is gonna go flying back and hit them too. So let's all right. do it again. Not a strong okay. Yep, you you man you managed to hit you managed to hit piercing for that. So fuck it fuck it and fuck the armor it had. <laughs> and that that's two slow actions, so that's all you got. So I believe Gomda sa said he was going next. Yep. <laughs> So I'm going to use Why the hell not? Also, while I'm thinking about it, since I got since what happened with that first monster, I we had to hit a button. We're been a long time. I'm not the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally, first move, of the, first move of the fight, I killed him. I'm going to... I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. And then on our on this individual right here, I'm going to do... Why not? I'm going to do weather. All right. 
Here we go. Nice. Very nice. All right, so that's down to 19. And one stack of weakness. Actually, no, not yet. That's not until you sustain. So that's can. So when when you're when the turn order comes back up, I will ask about sustaining. Oh, it's going to sustain. So. And now it's, it's still alive by that. <laughs> And now it's time for the for the smaller fish. You're fishy, fishy, fishy. Into the boiling, boiling cauldron of oil and make a cripsy. cripsy. So, that's, I'm delaying. This. I'm delaying if I get a good shot. So first this one, and it, it's going to move here and, atte and attempt a basic attack. So Gomda, roll dodge. Dodge? And that's a miss. That is going to be 11, da 11 damage subtra subtracted by your toughness. 11 minus toughness? Mm-hmm. Uh, I lose 5. All right. Um, roll willpower to see if you get inflicted with vulnerability. Probably. I have a... And yes, you do. So make sure to no make sure to note that on the on conditions. Vulnerability. Mm -hmm. One stack. Yep. There we go. So now for this one. So let me roll again. One. Two, three, four, five. But because because he ended up going, it ended up going right into the miasma. Um, it takes two d eight damage. Versus its. Versus its resistance, so that's just four damage. Mm. And hang. I don't know why it wrote it. Why it was set up as fifty? Some. So it's only taking 31 damage. Oh, not, it's down to 31 HP, what I'm saying. So let's roll again for the next one. One of mornings. One, two, three, four. And roll again. That's another four. One, two, Three, four, eight, five, eight, five squares. What am I thinking? One, two, three, 
four, five. That's another thing of going right into the... <laughs> right into the miasma, so that's 12, da 12 damage. So that one, ta that one takes eight. Okay, six. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, and the one the one that was ne that was nearly dead is going to try and um actually no no let's skip it would have it would have been doing a but it but it's. Actually, yeah, it can, it can do that. So, so, Oris, roll dodge. All right, you man, you man. You ain't touching me. <laughs> yep. yep, that's it. That's. That is a success. That's all of the. Oh. <clears throat> That's all of the grunts. So who's got slot C? I'll take it. I'll take C. Actually, no. You take C. I'll take D. All right. Okay. So, uh, move in one. Should give me range on all three of these. Okay, the one at the gun right now. That's what the one at the gun gets. So, how do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, shush kebab. So it just get, just gets pierced right through the head. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, next one. The next one up. Okay, missed on that one. Well, luckily I've got two more moves, so let's keep going. Mm -hmm. What the hell? There we go. So next one takes twenty-two. That's that one. Yep. It's not a death blow, but it's close. So, Sam, I believe you were going to go with slot D. Yeah, because I got to make my movement uh, over here. All right. You can move your character, Maddie. I know. That's what I'm doing. All right, let me. So, I should I should note fire. If you want to fire the cannon, that is a uh, that is a fast action. Any tar any target on the battlefield is el is eligible. the The range of the cannon is yes. I just need you to ping who's getting hit. Okay. And also, there's an advantage. Uh, uh, there's a stack of advantage, uh, advantage as well. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Because I said still, uh, sky, it's still a sky ship weapon. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to put one stack in advantage. And uh, Oris looks back and focus on the larger ones. We'll handle the small fish. I got two over, over here. We're to fire this son of a bitch over here. Yep. So that is get, it is going to be a straight cap check. So treat so treat this as one of your base one of your basic attacks. You're going to be ignoring the damage rolled because of the fact that you're not using the weapon you're using your on hand weapons technically for this. So basic basic actions either sword or crossbow. 
Okay, that, that yeah. is a hit. And now it is time for me to tell you how much damage this thing does. <laughs> oh, yes. um, Say well, hello then. to my little friend. Maddie, could you ping which which of the big ones you're targeting? This big motherfucker first, because I want to be careful with the crystal. All right. All right. Um, it does 50. That's 50 piercing damage. <laughs> so you you line the you line the thing up. You you um you let you hit you hit the trigger. Everybody hears the biggest. Everybody hears the biggest boom because this is effect. This is effectively a, and this is a airship cannon <laughs> firing, at, firing at the thing. And that swarm that swarm of fish goes by. You see, guy, it ain't that's how you fire the weapon. Oh, um, and like I said, the, um. That's a that's a fast action, so you've got one more use. Which is do love cannons. Give Sam Sabbath the major the maiden of death a cannon. That bitches love cannons. Uh. Oh, there's one right next to it right over here. Actually, should we be worried about it because of that blue square? No, nope. that's nothing. That's one of the heart strings that holds. Oh, doesn't matter. That's one of the blue squares. Those are the heart strings that are help that are keeping the that are keeping the um, hearth crystal embedded where it embedded where it is. So hitting it is so a good what idea. I'm doing is a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> yep. right. Hit it again! Yeah, you, you just took out two birds with one stone, I think. Mm-hmm. See, ladies, gentlemen, <laughs> this is the kind of shit I like. So, to mark the heart, to mark the heartstrings that. Oh wow, that is bad. <laughs> See, this is this. <laughs> have I not made it clear that I am not an artist? Lady, <laughs> yeah, that's K's that's job. I don't, I don't know why it was on free. And see, this is why I don't do the. Dr you know what? Fuck it. I'll keep it. <laughs> is it that? Is it that hard to give me some sort of straight line tool? I gotta go through all. I gotta go through all, of, all of this because it was either. I was using the pol I was using the polygon tool. There's a line tool in there. Yeah, freehand. That was no, what I was using. Polygon early. line. Yeah. We'll be good. Yeah, if I knew how to do it. Oh, yeah. You can do it. So let me. So right off the bat, Monk, I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to be moving from this cannon. Just saying. I, fi I figured um I should I should note you've got the cannon has one has one more um one more shell in it oh so it's so, limited ammo yeah I mean you can you can tr you can try and you can try and reload the thing but um as any but that's good but that is gonna be a time sink because well you ever you ever tried to re you ever tried to reload um say say um, say a musket or see how a musket is reloaded? Oh god. No. Yeah, yeah. Or or in a more I, I recent. I say take the time for it because we've got as long as we can hold up, up a little guys. Um. He's gonna. That is a. That is a good question. That question will be answered when Sam's next tur next turn comes up. So, uh, at the very least, I would say if we, at the very least, Sam's next 
attacks should at least be either this bugger or this bugger, so at least we can get one of these strings, another string taken care of. Mm -hmm. uh, that's if they don't move before their turn's coming up next. Yep. So who's got slot D? No, the die had slot D, remember? My bad. Yeah. Which means now it's going to be time for the big for the bigger ones to enter to enter the fray. I thought we got rid of the land sharks. These are the air sharks. Okay, so they weren't the ones Scott McNeil took care of a couple years, many years ago. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It is still in the my. It is still in the miasma. So. That's ten, so that's only four damage. Oops. There we go. So then roll again. One, two, three, four, five. See, it can't can't do that, and it can't do any of its special its special actions because nothing's in range. So that's it for that one. Two. One, two, three, four, five, and. That is only two damage when I compare it to resistance. And just this one's left, so... One... Two... Three... Four... Five, and that's it for the awakened tier. Now for E. Now for slot E. Roger. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move a couple spaces up, and move right about here, and then. I'm gonna go ahead and you I'm gonna go ahead and use my bow on this guy not this guy but this guy right here. Alright, could you ping again? Okay, uh right here. Alright. Fire away. All right, well, Wheaton. Oh, Ooh. nice. Very hey, nice. Here's the thing. <laughs> Somebody doesn't like Will Wheaton. What are you talking about? The dice gods never like him. All I have to All say right. to that is, shut up, Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> he banned me for the saying that, or he blocked me for saying that. Join the club. All right. <laughs> All right. And I guess to end it off, I'll go ahead and use Mana Echoes on that same enemy. Hey. Nice. So, how, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Crouch down just a little bit, get into a little fire stance right there. Bridge, lift the bridge of my glasses a little bit, and then just dash right to him, and then just slash him with my sword. <laughs> All right. 
as you and that is one that is one that is one prime cut of raw sushi and he is You're welcome out. people all right so <laughs> who has slot f all right Hit it with what? I'm getting. Oh, no. I need. I at the very least need the need the range so I could t so I can tell you yes or no. <laughs> he can just shoot from there. So make sure, make sure, make sure to note that. Make sure to note that. Managed to do the pre the precise amount of damage before you pr before you brought in um, overdraw. Yeah. Oh, it's dead. Sari had done what sixteen to it, and it has a health of thirty five. Negative twelve. It's dead, Jim. <laughs> Fucking dead, bruh. Okay, you hear me now? Okay, I was off to the side of my mic of the mic. There's that. So I had it stacked up so I could kill this thing next turn. But yeah. So how do you how do you want to do this? Gomda is at the same time. Gomda is palm was palming the the top of the handle of his dagger as he was going to do a move next turn. The arrows like literally go through base like between between the gaps in his arms and it, between the gap of his arm to his body. And without even lo removing his eyes, it's like Kaede, love you. Watch it next time. So that's that's another one down. One second, let me check something. Uh, no, I can't do funeral pyre. You could always, you do have a way to make yourself hard to hit.
My mistake then. Hey, Monk. Uh, what's the health on this bugger? Um, you should be able to see the health bars. We can't. Nope. That is... That is odd. I want to try something. Okay, yeah, no. That didn't work. No, we can see our own health. When we click on our own characters, we can see our enemy. We can't... When we see our character, I can't see anyone, none of the other party members, but not... And the villains. No, I, f I found out what it is. It's it's one little oversight on on attributes. I can I'll get it next. I already am aiming for it next turn because it's in range. I got range. All right. So let's see. I... Which slot did you have? It... Which slot did you have? K. She had. Yeah. All right. So, I can... so we're b we are back at the top. Um. I'll go B. And you no longer Give me have a, that, stack, that stack of weakness. Um. So you're taking slot A, Cervantes. All right. Right. And I will take B. Since I'm already in range to this guy, I'm going to go ahead and slash with my sword. All right. <laughs> Damn! Negative 11. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> I'm two for one here. Or I'm food. two for one here. It, we're gonna eat big tonight, so gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Time to eat, motherfucker, and then dash over, slash them up real good. <laughs> Make sure we keep the meaty parts in there. Everybody loves the meaty parts. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Most faint, faintly, and then you also hear Gonda in the, in the distance, Save the bones! We need them for stock! <laughs> hey, uh... So, he is, he is sliced, he is sliced clean. All right. And you've got two AP left. I wonder, am I even in range to attack this this guy here? If you've got something with a range of seven, yes. <clears throat> Let me see that. Oh yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> 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 he sounds as excited oh, as I am about oh. with, with my big freaking laser cannon thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, hey, good. How would you? How would you like a case of mana echoes? <laughs> All right, that is fifty. That's 15. My... So that's il that is 11 damage. So it's st it's down to tw it's down to 24. Or you might want to handle this one, right? 
Um, you still got one AP left. That was fast. Oh, that was that. Oh, I keep for, I keep switching between the two. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, Second first, same as the first. But again. Yeah, I'm going again. All right. Just cause. So it's down to 20. Yep. Bet. I bet. So who's get? So next is slot B. So who's getting that? I'll uh, take it. I had already called it after Coops. Sure. Oh, Rick got it. Okay, okay. He did. Sure. So. Okay, so I'm going to do. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Am I, I? This part, the light gray, the like this color is the miasma, correct, or is it just the dark? color it's just the dark colors okay even then i have even then i have uh weather so that shouldn't really matter to me so i'm here and i'm going to do yeah. i will do eroding wind all right Oh, the dice guys are balling today. <laughs> it appears you have chosen wisely. All right. So I checked it earlier. Check the earlier sonar, you're good. Yep. <laughs> so with the, so with that said oh, that's that's all your that's all your AP your AP. We will get to the question of sus of sustaining um, next round. If it survives yep. next round. <laughs> How much does it have in terms of health? 21. Okay, thank you. Alright, so... I believe you were slot B. Yep, so... the gr yep. Alright, so now it's, now it's time for the little fish. You're fishy, fishy, fishy. Well, I'm being, I'm being relative when I say little. Uh, I'm the singles first. <laughs> so, one, two, th three, and Gomda roll dodge. All right, you don't get bit this time. <laughs> one, two, three. Four, five. All right, Twelve damage minus. Eight. So that's my. So he's taking eight damage. One, two, three, four, five. Nobody's in range. That's all of the little fish. So next is slot C. I'll take that. Now Maddie already called it. Oh, he did. Okay, then I'll take D. Right. Well, I got I got to shoot and or reload. So. All right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'll be fast. Mm hmm. All right. Um, I believe I believe you said Sam is taking slot C, and I'm guessing yeah. you're going to be using the the cannon again on one it on um so, on something. Slot 
So we're going to go... Hold on, let me... We're going to go for this one. Direct hit on the heartstrings. All right. Roll it. And if it and if it hits this motherfucker, it hits this motherfucker. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna I'm going to call a bit of a mulligan that you that um you managed to do because of the because of the angle you managed to um do a double kill. <laughs> so that's one heart string down and one. And one slaughter swarm down as well, because that's how powerful the fucking cannon is. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that is, that is the last shot. Reload. Right. So since you are since you are reloading, uh, that is. Go I want you. I want you to. I want you to make a um to make a in, to make an insight roll. Um this is going to determine how, this is going to determine if you can find any find any other um any other shells with or without advantage. Um with because you are still dealing with um with airship weapons. stuff, yeah. Yeah, to ask. All right, you pass. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you d you do man you do manage to find um w you manage to find one more sh one more shell and one and one thing of black powder, but as you're as you're trying to set it up, you you realize that because the because of some of the damage to the cannon, um, it is going to it is going to take it would take several minutes, i.e. A whole, a whole scene's worth of time to fix to fix it up and get it ready again. It's a miracle you're able, able even able to get two shots out of it. Fair enough. So we got one heart string left to shoot anyways. That's mm -hmm. if that's what we need to do for the cannon. I'm okay with that. So you have three AP remaining. Can't really leave the ship while until the cannon is fixed. What's the range on my crossbow for this guy? And whoever did that, whoever did that long red polygon, could you get could you get rid of that, or is, or could you control Z that? I think I think somebody forgot that they had that they had polygon on by mistake. I think that was John. No, that was me, and I'm trying. Control Z it. is not working. Uh, we'll just we'll just have to leave it because there's no way to I there's no way to erase um in, erase individual entries. Like in okay. individual drawings, it's is it if I if I hit oh there it is, I dragged it off the screen. But it works. Yeah. So, moving pa moving past that, like I said, Sam, you've got three you got three AP left. Um. Since you use the facts, use the fast action firing the cannon. Um, you do still have your crossbow and the, and um, a range of five. The though there is one fish that's close that you can try and shoot at. Maddie. Yep, there it is. Don't worry, he, he will be he will be back shortly. Unless so, uh, Hum, why don't you get dinner and uh, I'll take a slot E. Alright. Um 
All right. Yep. All right. Oh, let's. Yep. So. Oh, I believe Gareth was taking. All right, I'm back. Key. I'm back. Oh. I'm back. Oh. Where's your horses? <laughs> um, I had Canadian said that... internet. What do you expect? Still better than Australian internet. Uh, I want to shoot this motherfucker with a crossbow because I still have one a three AP. I could use one of them that do something, right? Yep, that's that's the slow action. You can still do that, and you can just hold on the last one. On the last two, really. Um, oh wait, uh, there's the advantage. I have to remove it. It'll be a mulligan. Yep. Yeah, still whiffed. Um, you do have the option of using your spark. Um, don't worry about don't it. Worry about I'll it. get that one. It's a mess. And All considering right. I am in range of uh, the one he was firing at, I'm going to go after it. All right. Finally! <laughs> so, with that one's at, neg at negative four, so how do you want to do this? Uh, well, I'm just going to be that guy. Why won't you die? And then finally it dies. <laughs> That's the motion for the spell. Boom. <laughs> It, it keeps swimming around. Sam, Sam looks up while he's trying to when she's trying to fix up the uh, the cannon. Sees Gareth. Hey, Gareth! I think it's dead. <laughs> as as Gareth is still firing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just pick up your arrows. You're good. It's not arrows. That was a spell. Yep. So well, you just waste a whole lot of magical ammo then. Oh, I, I, I saw very Amer very American. Fire enough bullets and hope you shoot and hope you hit the target. That's exactly right. Spree and pre. So, now for the slaughter swarms. Let's see. So let me make sure I have. I'm just gonna move this into its own little window. All right. So, and whoops. Sorry about sorry about that. I ended up misclicking one of the links on my, on my bookmarks. Um. So that is a a three. Let me pan, let me pan a little bit. So. No, not that one. Why is my I think my mouse sensitivity derped for a second. Or if or if you prefer, um cosplayed as the cosplayed as the New York Giants. Derp. So No, I don't want I don't want to do that roll twenty. So one Two, three, four, five. Let's see. So that's my, so still in the miasma, so that's minus six. And let's roll again. 
Okay, that's a three. One, two, three. And you see, you see one of the slaughter swarms just descend on one of their own fish, essentially, ca essentially cannibalizing it. Which restore, which ends up restoring it to full health, restoring it to full health. Oh so yeah, they, so yeah, they eat their own. Assimilate. No, I'm kind of reminds me more of uh, the orcs are from that time. I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh god. Yep. Or, or if you prefer, <laughs> looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, and this one is oh, and this one is also going to cannibalize to heat to heal itself. This makes things so much easier for us. Yes, I grant right. these guys have more HP, but can handle it. Mm -hmm. Actually, because it does that with I am double checking something, but stack Would the effect of eroding winds transfer be would I be able to transfer it with funeral pyre? Yes. If you when but you've already acted this round, I believe. Because yeah. next is slot E. And I'll take that one so uh, K's got more time. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately for these big swarms, they just happen to walk right into range for me. Uh oh, spaghetti ears. Yep. So, first I'm going to look to the one on the far left over here. So, you view death on your own kind. Allow me to show you what you've done. It fires off another block of clamoring souls. <laughs> That's oh, a cut seven. the fuck off! Go! <laughs> Damn, bruh. Um, you gonna try and use the spark? Let's see. Uh, no, it wouldn't help. Let me uh, yeah, no, spark wouldn't help. I'd still be under my cap. Or I'd still be over my cap. Because so that'd only bring it down to 13. My cap, my, my, my A is 12. So that would still be a miss. So it, it manages to dis. That's. Oh well, fuck it. Not doing anything else. Fire again. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and it still doesn't. It still miss, and I still can't spark it. Yeah, damn. Now we gotta wait because he's still busy. Right. So. I'm gonna give you one, I'm gonna give you one mulligan on this because <laughs> the dice gods seem to be targeting you today. Aren't they always? All right, come on. It's because he's got right, the highest hit right, points. He can take it. For, for once. <laughs> they really hate you. Yeah, but you know what? That one I can spark because it would hit. It would hit a cap of twelve. All right, all right. Since it hit, since it hit um twelve, and make sure to check um Emberwind spark. 
So that's 3d12. 3d12 plus, f plus 5 versus its resistance. That's twenty minus resistance, so he get so he gets hit with fifteen. So not fifteen, um, fourteen. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for your for your turn. In the meantime, I'm going to refill my cup. Mm -hmm. So, I believe, so that would be slot F. Okay, it's coming back now. All right. Timing. It's almost like I perfectly planned that perfectly improvised slash planned that mulligan. All right, hold on one more minute. <laughs> Unlike some coaches, I understand the value of clock management. <laughs> also, I wish you guys could try this chicken that Sean, that, that, that Kay is working on right now. Oh my god! <laughs> Give to me. If we could feed you through the, through the through the internet, we would. Use FTP, food transfer protocol. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing chicken, corn, and gnocchi chowder. Mm. Get in my belly. All right. Yeah, especially with the way my family cooks. Holy crap. Between my wife and my daughter, holy crap, we never go hungry around here. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me see. I can see if we have any chicken thawed later. <laughs> John, with the way the dice have been treating us for the time being, do you think that the way they've been treating us, I'm Chugga Conroy and you're Proton John? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Keep that up. I'm going to start going, game! <laughs> Oh, man, you know I know my tier in history. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she apologizes for the delay. Oh, my God, yeah. For... for like, what other TRG moments do you want to bring in here? Because uh, I don't think doing Daisy on Hard applies to this, to this campaign. Mm -hmm. well, well, it wouldn't. No. Like, the few I know of, I can't really do because it's not a single person. Like, there's been times where it's been spread evenly. I mean, I can't really blame someone to be Mike this this session. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nobody's reached that level. One, the best guys haven't been that cruel to us so far. So far. Knock on wood. Secondly, no one has been that abjectly dumb with their decisions. Nope. I did have to explain the to one of my coworkers when they a couple of my coworkers when they were talking about some of their 
tabletop history, I, I did have to explain to them red mothering it. <laughs> There's no gentleman here. That's more like it. No, the only gentlemen here are whoever's watching it, watching the VOD. Mm -hmm. Your turn, go. Oh, no. Not again! So, question. Are you going to be using the amp, the amp effect? You, you've got two AP left, so you can use up to two fast actions. All right, then you're going to be doing repeating shot two more times. Oh, she's going to kill it. Two. All right. Yep. Oh, damn. Um, what's your A? You can spark what you can spark one of them. You can spark one of them. All right. Um, what's your P? Our. All right. So you're you're just gonna be you're just gonna get um A. So roll. So roll, um, roll eight, roll straight four D eight. Mm -hmm. It, it's almost dead. I claim killing Ray on this one. All right. Fortunately, now I, I am going to note in advance, I'm only going to count overdraw once. Because having, having, that, having that count for each, for each would be ridiculous. Oh. You're already getting doing a shitload of damage. Don't, don't get greedy. So... <laughs> You're still in we my still kill. need to eat. So 12, 
12 plus plus 21. Play K. I no, in character. See what's going on. Candidate, let me finish this one. I can fillet it perfectly. <laughs> Hang on. Calculate the side. So 12 damage plus 20 plus. And actually, I need I need to correct myself because that 12 damage isn't piercing. So six damage plus. I'll clear the whole thing, calculator. Six damage from overdraw. Twenty-one piercing. Twenty-one piercing damage from repeating shot. And fourteen damage from um the from the other repeat from the other repeating shot. And. Let me see if there's any extra effect on him. <clears throat> oh. Because, and you did use <clears throat> Ember Wind Spark. Which brought that last one to, down to 14. So, that is a grand, that is a grand total of 41 damage. So you, you. So I see. I see. We have a pattern today when it comes to ranged combatants. That being, <laughs> that being, fire all, fire all the bullets and pray you hit something. Yes, this is the <laughs> way. As... Remind me again how much does that one slaughter, slaughter by Gonda? How much it has for HP? But the. It's got, um, number nine, number nine, number nine. <laughs> I call yeah, it I one. <laughs> so, let's see. So we are back at the, t at the top of the order. So are you going to, are you going to meet, are you going to sustain the oh, impact? I'm I'm sustaining, and oh. it'll be put to use this turn. So he has one stack of weakness. But for, but for now, um, it's slot A. So who's got hero slot A? I'll do it. Give me B. All right. And first thing I'm going to do, basic attack. So you do have the option to spark it. Oh, I'm sparking. Where among my many things is the spark crystal? Em you're looking for Ember Wind Spark. I know. Give me a second. Ember Wind Spark. Use that. Well, a plus minus four. So. So that means your total is seven. Does that go on? What does that go under as far as cap? Uh, cap. Cap. Which one? Accuracy. Oh, when you roll d twenty, you compare. You compare. When you roll a cap check, you compare it to all three. You compare it to all three and see what. See what it um counts under. Oh yeah. Must be. Oh, okay. I just need to know which cap I'm looking at, because it would then be under. If it's accuracy, it would. My. 
The Ember Wind Spark would put it under. Ugh. Yeah, the other ones don't count, so that's a hit. So, roll. F so, let's roll 4d8. 4d8. Yeah, I can really get this effort. Fifteen. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Because that's exactly you did factoring in factoring in barrier. That's exactly nine. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Okay, Gonda pulls out of the his axe and knife, twirls him, and then just, is, just says, "Okay, let me show you how." Hey, Cervantes, let me show you how to properly prepare these. And jumps in, and starts uh, flaying all of them to the point by mm -hmm. basically. So by the time he's done, it, there's a brief second before. Next thing you know, all the fish in the in the swarm, I mean, all the fish in the school, break apart into perfectly filleted fish. Sabate takes off his glasses, cleans the lenses, puts them back on, and just says, "Wow, well done." Years of hunting, my friend. Years of hunting. So that one's out. And you still have two AP remaining. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. How's everyone doing on health right now? Uh, most of us? Most of us haven't even been touched. Mm -hmm. Fair. Okay. In that case... I'm looking... I can't do ancestral return. I'm just going to move. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So, slot B, who's got that? Oh, Cervantes. All right. I'm gonna gonna move one, two, three. About right here. And for my first move. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and slash it with my sword. On this guy, by the way. Do that. All right, so that is ele that's eleven um, dam damage total. So it's down to All nineteen, right. and that's it for that's it for your action. Yep. So next is slot C. I'll take it. All right. I'll, I'll be quick. I already know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> She's taking the D, folks. Yo! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think it's right. I was going to say, I think, I think she's right. experienced it enough. <laughs> Exactly, she has the experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And it's conversations like this is why we're on kick, because I don't think Twitch would like this. <laughs> hey, 
Anyway, mean, yeah, they have to notice us first. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it's just ribbing a married couple. I'm sorry. Well, plenty of Twitch streamers have probably had this type of stuff between couples on on there. Twitch. Yeah. Anyway, much, anyway, anyway, I've seen much worse on Twitch. <laughs> Moving on. So, real quick, I, I look over at Gonda. One that does not waste life is a valuable asset. Good work on that, brother one. <laughs> and from there, once again, a lot. And I guess so, let's see if I can join you on that. Firing off another clamoring souls. This time, being a little more careful not to uh, destroy the uh, meat. And for the first, for this one, we'll start with this guy again. All right. Oh, 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 it's dead. It's dead. Negative 22. <laughs> Damn it. So for this one, instead of just tearing at it, because they are souls, they can pass through any solid object, right? So we just make sure to fight away at the uh, at, at the things that keep it alive you know take out take out their brains take out their hearts keep the meat nice and tender uh, all right so that one that one's out you've got two AP left and I've got another one in range so yeah go over that last one <laughs> okay Good news is you crit twice. Um, unfortunately, once again, <laughs> nine is it has nine <laughs> hit points left. Still, nice. it didn't nice. <laughs> Yep, finish it, Kaede. Watch, we're gonna have a string of misses. Don't jinx it. Glum does see, no, Glum does see Kaede come up right next to him. At least I'm not going to get, at least there's no possibility of me getting porcupine. Look, he turns his head and looks at her with a deadpan look. Oh. <laughs> oh, this thing's dead. This thing is totally dead. It's got to be from. It's got, you've got to hit first in order in order to proc in order to um, proc it. So you need to you need to hit with a you need to hit with a damage dealing action first. Oh. Nice. Excellent. Combo, it's a combo fatality. It's a combo brutality. Okay. Um. I don't know. I don't know why it's showing amp and amp and trigger of amp and trigger effects. Yeah. This this is what I think. This is one of the another one of those weird artifacts from the character sheet. So, yep. So since since you're doing t 
two since you're doing two times da two times damage. Um, roll eight d eight. Eight, eight d eight, and make make sure to add the stat the static mod from your weapon. Oh my. Let me let me check something. Never mind, you don't. Ha it doesn't have a static modifier, so you're just gonna be rolling eight d eight. Oh, you did! Oh. You did exact! You did exactly what it would have doubled if I did it the other way, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so boom, 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 and then we have firing squad. Gom, <laughs> gomda, but firing. I'm still counting firing squad. Oh yeah. So gomda, you get to do one basic ranged attack. Basic range. Okay. Yep. Throwing knives. Nice. So, it's forty minus. Up. It's already dead. <laughs> now there's still one thing left to skewer. So that is a grand total of fifty-one damage against it. <laughs> So it, it it had a total of minus forty two. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you two want to do this? Yo. Yes. <laughs> Going that pull, pulls out his three his throwing daggers, and dashes forward and. With it, throws them instantly at all the with all the fi the fish in the school before he immediately darts to the side. <laughs> before you then th before then three more thunks are heard and three fit the th three fish fall down with the, the daggers in them but it is done to the it is done to a point where if you look closely enough you can see it's flayed perfectly along the bot the bottom where someone can actually do a better a good fillet with it <laughs> So, yeah, dinner just arrived for us, as a matter of fact. <laughs> at, at this point, I think we can safely assume, don't worry about the cannon, we're just going to cut that last, uh... It's... Um... At the, ra at the range you get, at the range you guys are at, all I, all I need is just a cap check from one of you in order to, um... Uh, in order to take out the last string. Sam, go ahead. Oh, he said he he's getting something. All right. Um, what's everyone's accuracy? My ten. Fourteen. Check one two. Seventeen. <laughs> Maddie. Hello. Yeah, we hear you. Yep. All right. All right. Maddie, what's your accuracy? Uh, mm. Cap check. Left hand side near the bottom. Twelve. 
Cervantes, take it. <laughs> now, how do a cap check again? Just do a basic, just do a basic melee arranged attack. The specifics aren't aren't important for this. All right. In that case, mana, mana echoes on this no, bummer. No, just basic. Oh, basic, basic, basic. Okay. Uh, then just throw a bow at it. All right, that's it. That isn't that is enough. So the last one snaps, and you. And you can see the f and you you are you're able to um see, you're able to see it just just snap completely off. Um, as the hearth crystal falls and lands in a in a clump of membrane, the smaller shards get pulled from orbit and drawn into the crystalline matrix. The pulsing light blooms into a bright, steady glow as the awakened hearth crystal absorbs the miasma and begins cleansing the surrounding area. The crystal sparks to life with a prismatic burst of light that binds the squealing, squealing slaughterfish. Blood spurts from the floor and, wa and walls as the fish burrow through the worm's soft tissue in an effort to escape. The sky worm screams in agony, writhing wildly as you struggle to keep your balance. Starlight pours into the into the chamber as a harpoon punctures the sky worm from the outside. The skull-faced prow of the of an airship bursts through the creature's side, splitting the hide with a silver seam of moonlight. A gangplank gang drops from the mouth and disgorges as a team of chasers who fa who fan out and approach with weapons drawn. The last to disembark is a tall, muscular woman ripping a massive great axe in one hand. Her war paint is a skull of vibrant red. She casually surveys the field before raising a small vial of fine crystalline powder to her nose and inhaling sharply. Ecstasy rolls across her face as she throws her head back and lets loose a roar that fills the chamber. When she lowers her gaze, her bloodshot eyes shine with a berserk intensity, almost seeming to glow in the in the dark the nearby wisps of miasma part ar part around her swirling in small eddies that never seem to touch her skin the council told me to make it quick and clean she says taking a few warm-up swings with her axe but slow and messy is a lot more fun and oh. that and that is That is that is where we that is where we are going to go to break. <laughs> Round. Dig it. Then again, Discord needs to stop being a bitch. I'm midstream, Discord. What the hell? <laughs> Anywho. We'll see it in the meantime. As it's as we said, we'll see y'all in a bit.
Oh, I see the health bars finally over them. <laughs> yeah, if it, was, if it was anybody else, I'd be suing for gimmick infringement. <laughs> I was gonna say. Hey. Of course, I love you. That's beside the point. No, no he. Of course, we know you love. He loves you just as much as uh, a certain Bermudian loves nuts. For, for context, we were just talking about uh, TikToker B. Dylan Hollis and his cooking sh his cooking channel. And uh, if you don't know, he's openly gay, and he often brings that up, especially whenever nuts are involved in his recipes. I have not seen any of his stuff, but I have a striking suspicion that he has used the line, you can't spell nutrition without nut. I'm pretty sure he has. Give it time. <laughs> when it, it's go, oh. it's <laughs> going to happen eventually. Mm -hmm. I just, I just have to be patient. Who's calling the geese? <laughs> I heard somebody calling geese. Ah, um, <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if that's I wonder if that's what people fe feel when they go when they drink the pain glass. I don't think I want to know. I'm pretty sure I told at least one of you about that about the punishment game that I have at some of my old tables. Oh, yeah, I, I, I know what he. You have two options. If you if you do this level of fuck up, option one, drink a bottle of bacon soda. I've done that before. It's not it's bad, but <laughs> it's rough. It, it's a savory soda, and savory sodas are not good. But I have tried worse. Oh yeah, I've been to the world of Coca Cola last month. There are a lot more worse drinks than bacon soda. Oh, oh yeah. Option t option B is the pain glass. This is a shot glass filled with um, water, salt, sea salt, black pepper, um, regular pepper, Tabasco sauce, Frank's Red Hot sauce, Tiger sauce, um, a li a little bit of the a little bit of the bomb or whatever whatever hot sauce I feel I feel like throwing in, and ground up jalapeno seeds. Oh, <laughs> Now, if any of you are thinking that sounds excessive, remember, it's called the pain glass. Plus, it's got the bomb, which, from what I've heard, is just basically just pure spice, no flavor. Yeah, it's fu it is yeah. fuck you in a bottle. That's what that is. That's As why I use it for this. The As idea a... is to is to create a punishment so bad nobody would think about it because they don't want to risk it. As a fan of Taiwanese food? No. M Every Monk, I have to ask, would Mike Shell have been subjected to the pain glass? Yes. Um, depends on depends on the infraction. For there are two things that I, I think would have been worth. There are two things that are that are likely, and one thing that I definitely know would be would be um would be a qualification. The whole thing with the shield borderline but uh, pro probably probably just the bacon soda for that um the, the thing the stuff with the red mother once again borderline and it was the funny as hell the, the stealth mission on the other hand pain glass yeah <laughs> oh, I had a feeling and it's not like this is it's not like this is a new thing for me back back when me and my friends would play goldeneye all the time there was a rule that if any of if any of us picked odd job after the match, um, he had to stand up and we and we all um, had went, gotten a line to kick him in the nuts. If you've played Goldeneye, you you will you will not think that that punishment is excessive. 
I know. I know. Oh. We did the same thing with Eddie in in during sets of Tekken 3 for similar reasons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. And for D and for DOA three, when once I started, once I started being stupid good with Brad Wong, because for context, Brad Wong's style is Drunken Fist. Drunken Fist is very hard to predict, because that's kind of the point. You know, you think something's going going mid, so you block for mid, and then it ends up hitting high. But. Getting back to the to the matter at hand, you you see you see that the ship that the chasers advance towards you. Their skull painted faces lit by the ethereal light of the crystal. The chamber has gone eerily still in the absence of a heartbeat. Somehow the slain beast seems to be staying aloft. The chasers have revealed their true intentions. They have the numbers and a working airship. Unless you can appear, unless you can repair your own crippled craft, their vessel is, is your only way back to Adriel. If they have come for the crystal, it would be it would only be fair to take something of theirs in return. You have come too far to let these face-painted thugs claim your prize and condemn Gelspar to the to the miasma. And Close did you ring. know that while they do know our our, our ship is Fubar, they don't know our cannon is not. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't think there's any scent that they're all pasty. No. No, because no, because um, this is this is one of those no witnesses kind of situation. Yeah. No, uh, I don't think you're getting it. They, 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 the intention is to kill us and fuck off. Yeah, and besides, the cannon's already reloaded. We're good to go. Hell, they're I'm gonna try something. If we play this right, they're not gonna have time to worry about it. I'd like to fast talk them and try and uh, go a different angle. Uh, I'd like uh, it was uh, Kendrick that hired us, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go with. Oh, so you're gonna make an enemy of Kendrick now, are you? Right. Roll fast talk. I do have advantage uh, with these guys, so. How the hell do I do a, put an advantage for this one? Uh, just ro add one stack of advantage on your conditions, and then roll, and then roll fast dog. It'll automatically apply it. Or not a it, it, the advantage of under conditions. Oh, I see it. Yep. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. Very nice. Well, you do ma you do manage to you do manage to talk to talk them, but one one of them says we're we don't work for we don't work for Kendrick, you idiot. Perhaps not, but you think he's going to be happy that you ruined his mission? Well, who's going? We didn't. Galspar. We all we we have insur we have insurance and that and that ins and that insurance requires n requires no sur no survivors when we. When we when we bring the crystal back to Summit. Oh, that's okay. We have insurance too. We set her free from you assholes. Is that my cue? 
Uh, let me... Let me... Uh, so... It's, that's definitely going to be the cue. So who's taking slot A? A. A. Matty, I am... give it to Matty. Let him fire the first shot. All right. Who is the boss? This one? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Cannon. Yes. Woo. Good hit. Good hit. So that's fi that's fifty. That's one fast I action. Mean, you're not coming okay. Wait, if that was fifty and she only went down that much, you're gonna have to fire a few more times. <laughs> uh, I let me double check the thing. Well, bear in mind it's fast, so he could fire all three shots rapid fire and pretty much. If not kill her, at least bring her down to the point where she's going to be helpless. Oh. But would it be wise to use up all those shots at once? We can handle because the Because the cannon's going to be useless anyways. This is a tough bitch. Fuck them! Yeah, no, I think it's the right call. We can handle the rest of these guys. It's her that's going to be the problem. We need to make sure she's taken out fast. Fucking thank you. So, second verse, same as the first, then? Yes! All right, that's... An... All right, hold on a moment. Mm -hmm. All right. It sounded like you are going to try one, one more shot. The last shot in the cannon. Last shot in the ship, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Unless I could yep. reload. <laughs> no, no, that's it. This is it. Ah! Uh, I did not spark yet. Do it. Please. Do I'm, it. I'm doing Do it. so. Do it! All right. So right at right as right as the right as the right as she's about to um char as about about to charge you guys she ends up she ends up getting hit she ends up getting blasted with with one cannonball seems to seems to just get knocked over get right back up is about to get up again gets hit again then look then looks at the, then she's in her in her Bloodless, she start, she turns around, sees the sees the cannon pointed right at her. Smoke's still coming out of the barrel, and and that's and that's when you fire again. And suddenly, she, and suddenly she is no more. There's just dumb paste. Is anyone seen what a tank? Anyone seen what a tank round does to, does to a um does does to ballistic a ballistic torso? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I've I've had a bit of time re when it comes to researching um, excessively lar excessively large firearms, which meant things like the infamous four bore, which has a barrel that is one inch in diameter, mm -hmm. or the or the punt gun, which is the world's largest shotgun. It was used for commercial duck hunting, <laughs> and just to. I just to give a bit of a a bit of a reminder, just for for the sake of reference, I'm going to share with you guys one image. One image. Um. This is I'm putting this in cloister. This is a punt gun. <laughs> you see, Sam Peaky Peak up. Do you not understand the rules of dibs? You. Oh wait. Oh, she's dead. Kill them all. <laughs> but I, I'd now, like to at claim this point, B I look over like, this is what we've done to your leader. Do the rest of you want to deal with the rest of us? We they are completely un. They are completely unfazed. You can you can see that they've taken the same powder that that the other one was taking. So you're not going to be reasoning with them anytime soon. Bunch Kill them all. Yeah. 
bunch yep, of drugs. That's why I'm taking B. Okay. Mm. I'll take C. Auris, no more talk. Kill. So before before we get to and before we get to any slots, um, you've got you've got some um, one AP left, Sam. Do you want to shift? I think I have to at that point, yeah. And you can't do a full move, but you can at least shift to get out of the ship and closer. Okay. Basically just pop uh, down and just go, fuckers, let's go. <laughs> go right. Wait, hold up. Superhero landing. Murder. Hit it. Ooh. Pulls the suit out. Ah. Good thing I remembered to land on my good knee this time. So. Now. Anyone have a date with the maiden of death? All right. So, for, are we ready to go? Yep. And I, yeah. So, is this one within range piece. of me? Though, as 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 the bigger one had died off, a few reinforcements did come in. God damn it, monk! Hey, the more we get to blow up, honestly. So, let me do, let me do a little thing here so I can ha I can have everything I need in front of me. Thank God for two screens. Right. So, who's got slot B? I does. Yeah, like I think through C has been take has been taken care of. Mm -hmm. So, are is this one within range of me? So let me see. One, two. That's it's going to be a range of if you've got a range of five. That's I did. All right. All right, let's pull out the uh, the rapid fire now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so how how much have we done on it so far? We've gotten uh, eighteen uh, piercing on it. All right, so, um, let me see. So it's got. Because I've still got two more actions. So, five, six, so, so far that's 18. And it's still, how much is it? I mean, I'm just waiting for the update to see on its damage. Um, I haven't, I haven't put, I haven't put. Uh, what percentage of its damage would you, or of its life would you say that is? Okay. Well, you can, you can see it now. Let's finish her off. That's. All right, so that's Oh yeah, it's dead. Yep, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, all four hit for once. <laughs> Not only hit, but all four pierced. That's why I use that spell. It's so <laughs> effective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Yep. Yeah, I can see I can see the calculation um for it. Which is Actually, is a good thing because the for each of them this was what was rolled. 4 and 15, 11 and 9, 6 and 17, 3 and 18. So I think in this case you're just you just went full DACA and just shred just shredded it because it's at yeah. minus well, eight. Even even without the advantage, I would have hit three out of four. Once again, also, just... uh, real quick, considering that they if they're all drugged up, would my street drug dead weight kick in? Yeah. 
Yeah, in that case, you you two, and and just you two, um, get two stacks. Get Whoa. two stacks total. So. <laughs> oh, one stack each. Yep. One stack for Still. one stack if you've got chasers, and one stack if you've got street if you've got street drug physique. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. You can have D then. You know, I just I just realized we're talking about a TikToker. There's another TikToker that does videos where uh, where it's a something serene or something with, for the boys, and right near the climax, element of surprise, boom! And I should have said that. Mm -hmm. I should have said that. <laughs> Damn it! But, but um, so that's it. That's it for slot eight for slot B. So next is going to be the grunts. So let's. See. All right. So. All right. That's a three. One, two, three. So fl he can't. He doesn't care. He's drugged up. All right, and let's see, let's see that was three. So he is going to attempt a. He's going to attempt to hit to hit you with the to hit Cervantes with the blackjack that he has. Oh, so Cervantes, I want you to roll. Dodge. Yep, but order of operations. So roll dodge. Um, give yourself one extra stack of advantage because of flanking. Dang, where is that dodge button? Uh, you click on the little icon next to dodge. Okay. Look for the button that's shaped like Gohan. So it's the the icon uh, next on the green uh, line. Oh, there it is! There it is! Yeah! All right, he does not hit you. <laughs> now, Kaede, you get a you get one you get one basic melee attack. <laughs> oh, I was gonna kill it. It's, it's not dead. Yes, it's they're fine. Dead, but it certainly took a hit. Bring out the dead. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Bring out the dead. I'm not I'm dead yet. I'm feeling much better. I think I'll go for a walk. All right. You ain't not dead. Your arms off. <laughs> so. Wrong scene. So that's it. that's it for th for that one. So let's roll again for the next one. Okay, double move. So one chase one, your street jack. What the two, fuck? Three. Are they part of uh, of retribution or something? Oh God, no, no! Do no, not compare to those fucks. I actually want to compare to those fucks because I want those fucks to die. All right. So that that's it for that's it for his action. Right now for the next one. So that's a four, so two three four. And isn't isn't able to use his special he would have used special action, but nope, not can't nothing in range. So one Two, three. All right, I'm claiming D now because I got a plan. Yep. Four. No. <laughs> Actually, she's right. She didn't mention it earlier. Yep. Fuck! I've got a perfect shot right here in front of me. You shall have to wait. All right. By then, all you fuckers will kill everybody. All right, who's... 
Who's got C? Who's got C? That was we'll leave me. the stragglers for you. Go on, Bed Let's. Uh, let me see. No. Even if there are so, stragglers, when you have three perfect targets lined up right in front of you, literally lined up, and you can't use it. That's my point! <laughs> well, Servant. <Yeah. laughs> so, I'm going to use a Wither on this bugger. Alright. Roll it. And then I'm going to add to that eroding winds. Ouch. And I think you already used your spark, so that's so that's a whiff. Yep. So who's got slot D? Calm down, John, or I'll Dave you. I was trying to get rid of it. I was trying to get rid of the yellow square, and um, that didn't work. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. But so was the whole map for a second. Nice crit. Stabby, de stabby, stabby, daddy, daddy. Oh, he's very dead. I just didn't. I just didn't take him off because I wanted to show that you did negative eight. That it's negative eighteen. <laughs> so you just you gave him one quick slice across the throat, and the and the rest is history. So see. So that's. All right, I th can, are you going to hold? All right. Yes. So, I believe that was slot C or D. All right. So now for the now for the bigger ones. One, two, three. So let's see, four and then let's 
So it is going to ch it is going to try and cast si um, silencing stare on Cervantes. Uh. So you can you can either roll focus or roll intimidate. Uh. Dang, they're both equal on both ends. But I'm going to go ahead and roll Intimidate. All right. Damn it. Which means you are inflicted with silence during your, during your next action. And against you, against you, against you, um, Kaede. Roll willpower. You manage to pass, so you do not get hit. You avoid the effects of chilling cloud. All right, that's that's it for him. Uh, hold on, it says it's auto hit. It's auto hit, but she, but it has to be rolled versus willpower to actually do anything. Ah, fair enough. Mm hmm. All right, so two, one, two, three, four, five, and he and the other Mistwalker is going to try and hit, going to try and hit you. With it, with it, with it, with it's with a um, with afterburn, which is just going to be him throwing a throwing fire at you. So, roll, dot, roll, um, dodge. All right, let's see. Uh, he's gonna be do, and he's gonna be doing that twice. So roll, dodge again. All right, you only get hit once. <laughs> that's not hitting. I don't think that's hitting your resistance. So, let's see, that's it for them. So, slot E. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. So that gives me two stacks of damage. But I'm going to take this opportunity. I haven't used any of my tide turners yet. I think it's about time I pull one of those out. Mm -hmm. And this one's going to be helpful for us and, painful and, and, and uh, a little crippling for them. As I am, I life is about about giving and taking. So I shall take yours and give to my allies, as I unleash my sheltering force. All right, all right. Let's see. So that, let's see, one, two, three, two, three. It's everybody. It, it yep. affects everybody. So, look at the no. target. All combatants. Oh. <laughs> all heroes. All you got. All my. All of my allies get five. Uh, five plus to their to their toughness and resistance. And all opponents get a stack of weakness. For this next turn, for this next uh, until my next turn. Mm -hmm. And you've still got three AP left. Yep. So since I can, I'm only going to be able to, able, to, able to do one attack, but I might as well make that attack worth something. So I'm going to go ahead and optimize. All right. Oh yeah, baby. Well, <laughs> all right. So you you have the uh, so. How much? How much are you going to be converting 
um, when it comes to accuracy and penetration. Honestly, if pet, it, you know, basically, if I get under penetration, it doesn't matter what my accuracy is, right? It's still gonna hit. Penetration hits and ignores and ignores barriers. So if I just drop all my penetration or all my accuracy down and drop my penetration down, that's that would bring it down to three for penetration. Or no, add it to make it fifteen mm -hmm. for penetration. I think uh, that's a good make, call. Yeah, make sh make sure to do not at do not edit the cap values at the bottom of the sheet. No, I know there's a modifier at the top. I know. Mm -hmm. So I would drop accuracy to down, make it a twelve, and penetrations into uh, like six. And the reason I'm doing that for this turn is I've got three nice little motherfuckers sitting right in front of me. True, but I can only do three. Yeah. And now the Garden of Life shall steal your essence. Garden of Thorns! And why is womp, that... Womp. Probably because... I, I think it's because of the... Of, I think this is more of an issue of the um, of the setup here, since your penetration with th with this should be thir should be thirteen. So I'm counting that I'm counting that as penetration. Yeah. So right. gar I need to so, roll that two more times, or just uh, roll damage. Um, roll damage. So roll roll four d six. All right, that's 14. Four, 14 straight. And that'll be the three guys right in front of me, so. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because there's because they all took more than one damage, you guys know what that means. All right, fire away. No, well, is, that's just for one, or is that for all three? Oh, um, I believe that's fourteen damage on on the three of them. That's what I put in. Okay, so all three take damage. Well, then all that's left is uh, slap a stack of poison on all three of them while you're at it. All right. All right, so I believe that I believe that's going to be it. Yep. Now uh, make sure for all for all you guys, go up to your barrier defense modifiers at the very top corner and add five to toughness and five to resistance. Already done. Five to toughness and resistance. And five to resistance. Mm -hmm. Got it. Barrier Got it. defense modifiers. One, two, three, four, five. And resistance. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So, rem I believe you were slot. E were you slot yeah, e? I was e? So I think right. uh, Garrus all that's left. So, yep. Cervantes. So Coops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I and was remember, B. And oh, Coops, remember you cannot use any actions that ha that are spells. Yeah, that's going to be painful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shift myself right over here. And I'm just going to sword slash it. All right. On this guy, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Roll, roll with advantage, cause roll with one more. Reroll with one more stack. So you should have a total of two of two stacks of advantage. Okay. That's, 
That is that is 18 piercing. So he's down to negative two. So how do you want to do this? <laughs> how dare you keep me away from my own kill OP spells? For that, I'm slicing you the fuck up. Thought that out? Oh, you're right. Damn. Oh, Tyler, shut up and angry slice moves. <laughs> angry mime noises. <laughs> Crazy description, but accurate. <laughs> Out of character. Having fun? How's it feel, Mr. Mime? Now I'm starting to feel like Proton John. <laughs> Alright, so he's... Yeah. he's He is out. I believe that was slot F. Yep. Alright, so we are... I'll, I'll take we the... Are back at, we are back Sorry. at the top, so... Yep, I called it before you. Yep, I'll take C then. That was... So, the ones with poison, they all take six. They all take six damage, because poison is piercing. Actually, hold on. Uh, no, that that's the start of my turn. Cause I didn't I catch cast wither on one. Yeah. Yep. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be sustaining it? Oh, I'm sustaining. All right. So. You so you're so he gets one one stack of weakness. Which it was. It was this one. My bad. You're only human. Uh so that's get that is so you're only gonna have two AP when your turn come when your round comes up, Gonda. So who's got slot A? All right. Take the one on your uh, upper right. This one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Because I got the one to your uh, lower left, and I got something beautiful. Yeah, I got something beautiful for him. Mm Neff, I... <laughs> nice. I a crit. All right, which which one's getting hit? Uh, that one. All right. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> All right. Goes goes right through. Oh. Oh, you have gone to catch half a head. <laughs> no, no. Gone to leans his head to the right. Uh, and so it sails quickly by. Stop stealing my ga my gags! Right. <laughs> so, you got two AP left. I got a plan for this one, so don't do that one. Oh, I don't think I'm going to need it. I don't think I'm going to need it. No, because, yeah, no. My, yeah, cause I was going to say my plan for this one is going to help Neff in a way.
All right. So, your last damage dealing action was a, was a melee action. You you ended up critting. So, let's see how. So let's see. First first off, um, minus thirty two. Second off, um, how much improve how much improved damage are we dealing with? Yeah, how many how many squares? All right. Mm -hmm. Negative eleven is the total. It, negative eleven is his HP afterwards. So how do you want to do this? Are, are we going? Are we going for another headshot? They go in. Oh, they go in the eyes and bur and burst out in the back of the head, and he ends he ends up falling first to his knees and then plants plants right back in the right in the right into the muck. So he's out. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> so let's see. That it that is going to be it for your actions. Uh, next. All right. Those two grunts. Get to do their thing. <laughs> nope. Now I'm going to shift here. And from there, I'm yep. I'm going to do a basic axe and dagger. So total HP is minus six. So <laughs> you want to do this since you pierced. He's dead, Jim. He's so as Gondas coming o is running over, he takes out his axe, hook, uh, swings it so the underside of the axe hooks around the uh, neck, and just and using the momentum chops it off. Right, and uh, you see. You see the head go clean off, and he ends up making the slow fall down. And he sticks the dagger up, catching the head as it was coming down, before he aims it at this guy, because I'm going to use Ancestral Return to pass the vulnerability onto him. All right. So you would see, oh, you see almost a pale glow go from the the skull or the head. It hits this guy. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Neff. Oh, trust me, it's not needed. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help. Yep. So, let's see, next is the next is the grunt work. So let's roll. Let's roll for him. Let's see three, and he, he's going to try and he's going to try and strike with strike with his with his um, blackjack against um against K, against Kaede. So I need you, Kaede. I need you to roll dodge. Yeah, that's a miss. So let's see what he gets. So that's 13 versus your current toughness. 
Never keep, mind, you still keep... got that plus five. Mm -hmm. Um, what's what's your toughness? All right. Oh, you you managed to he he man you managed to attempt to sight to sidestep when he tried to hit you, but you st you still get you still got banged on the shoulder. So next it next we have slot C. And that was enough. That was enough. I'll take D. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Well, I'm not gonna kill anybody. You got the boss, so you got the boss. You got the most epic kill of them all. So the the one awakened there, he's going to. Uh, well, you guys have seen uh, Last Crusade, right? Oh God. Oh no. He loses 15 damage off of his maximum hit points as well as his current hit points. So he can't go above he can't go above 20, so let me Actually let actually let me make sure I got that right. So Because I forgot to put in, um, res I forgot to put in resistance. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's o he's only taking six. Oh well, if that's the case, we'll have to finish him off with rest. Oh, uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Not dead. Not dead. That's oh, I sorry. I didn't see it. Tw I didn't see the second one. So, yeah. and both of them pierce. Both of them pierce. So first one's um twelve, and the second one is thirteen. He's not dead, but he's close. And he's looking like an old man too. Mm hmm. And you can you can see the um. The face paint starts to melt. Start to melt off. So, that's believe, my turn. Yep. So next is slot D. I'll take that one. All right. So, I'm gonna target this guy over here. And once again, unleash the souls of the damned. All these fallen, all these fallen compatriots. I wish they could power me, but I don't have any of those skills anymore. But let's just say that their spirits are still going to help me out here, doing with more clamoring souls. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck off! Um, oh, try again. Re um, reset. Do you still have those modifiers at the top? Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Never mind. I was going to say, like, you no, know, in you ever in in game, the ghosts of all the dead. The, the dead pacers pop up and they just give you the middle finger. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> That's more like it. They go give you the middle finger, then they turn it and start attacking his their friends. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do you want to do this? <laughs> All, all of his old fr friends, and even some of the uh, the fish that we killed earlier, just start surrounding him, and like suffer in death, and they just start tearing him apart. Ah, the old good style welcome. <laughs> so, and that you still got two AP left. Yeah, we still have one more motherfucker left, don't we? Well, sorry to do the kill. Not much. Still, I, not much, but... I won't go to choice. Ah. 
Damn. Walked into that one, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> like a John? rake. Yeah, I'm with Monk. Like a fucking rake. So. No, he. In universe, Artist goes to it. Oris goes to attack, steps on, accidentally steps on a bone from one of the dead combat, combats and smacks him in the face. Oh, that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So... Oh, that's humiliating. So, <laughs> oh, I like you've you been through worse. So that was slot D, so now it's, now it's, now it's his turn. Okay, that's A2, so... He's not. He's not going to be moving. But let me make sure I add the conditions because we have. That's probably one because stack his of... hips not doing so good now. I believe it was one stack of weakness and one stack of vulnerability. Oh yeah, you popped his hips out. And one stack yep. of permanent old man. <laughs> <laughs> so... Actually, the weakness should be off by now. Yeah, because he. John had his turn. So, move the toughness and stuff. Either way, he ain't feeling so hot. He ain't gonna oh. survive. So, oh, I, I'm pretty sure he won't. <laughs> so, um, he is going to be doing two attacks, one against Kaede and one against Cervantes. So, both of you roll dodge. Okay, Kaede, you don't you dodge. Cervantes, you get hit. Let me see how much damage you take. <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing shit. <laughs> I ain't doing shit. I just said to say to him, what are you trying to do? Tickle me? Mm -hmm. So you end you end up you end up just counterweaving the spell so it just, so it just becomes sparks before before it even gets close. So, next is slot E. Give me E, give me E, give me E. I need some revenge. All right. All right, Mr. Tough Guy. It's about time I release something I don't think anybody will actually see coming. I'm going for Glacial Crash. Well, considering he's an old man, I don't think he sees much of anything at this point. Don't care. <laughs> yes! You know what? <laughs> Let him have this one, guys. <laughs> Gondo just flicks his dagger down, removing the head, and before sheathing everything, and just starts walking back towards the crystal. That's what you get for silencing me, you fucking bitch. So... Everybody, everybody around him begin, begins to notice that the air has started to get has started to get colder. When all all of a sudden, a big a big a big fucking hunk of ice just drop just drops down on him from above and he and crushes him, like it like he got hit with an anvil drop. Uh, I yell out. Uh, I call shotgun on the on their ship. Not. In you don't get shotgun for shit, kid. So, uh, Gonda, Gonda near the crystal is like, Gareth, you can, you can fight over that later. Get your ass over here and help me let this crystal. So the the last one finally goes still. Finally goes still after just, after just falling in, falling into the muck. Oh. So and... I'm just gonna say I'm gonna go straight to the ship and see if I could if I could, you know I just yell, you guys take care of this crystal. Let let me see if this uh, this new ship we just earned is uh, viable. Mm -hmm. So uh, as Gonda's walking over, he is like he is. Rifling through the stuff of, I'm um, seeing if there's any, anything in terms of information or such that he, he can get. Though it's not probably going to be much because the boss lady who probably has all the stuff is dead. Uh, no, no, she's paced. 
<laughs> Fair enough. There's not enough left of her to search. Maybe a boot, but that we don't they don't put anything in boots. <laughs> I'll help you out. There's no time for that kind of kinky stuff. <laughs> Necrophilia. The only necro I approve of is necromancy, but that's just me. Well, you know what the difference between a, uh, a vampire and a necromancer is? Gareth, get your ass over here before I t you become a shush kebab. One's a necromancer and one's a necromancer. Oh my god. God damn it. Hey, so... have fun. So, first off, Sa um, Sam, which ship? Which um, ship are you heading to? The the one, the the wrecked one, or the or their ship? The new, the new ship. All right. All right. Our new ride. The new ship ride. that we're going to use to transport the crystal and get out of here. The thing that you notice is that this one is far more put together. This looks not only professional. This looks like a ship that would um would be used by people who work for nobles. Oh, good. So it looks like something that they won't bother us with. Mm -mm. Here's a quite Here's a thing, though. They got the new host hotness. We got the old and busted. What the hell? My guess is the council was trying to screw us over, and all of Gale's part. That does seem like their ways. As I walk over towards the crystal. Wanting to examine it a little closer. Uh, this Gomda, is Gomda. Gomda, as he has the crystal in his hands. From experience, I wouldn't be. I'm not surprised by it. This crystal is about tw is a bit is a big boy. It's twice the size of a grown man. Yeah. Yep. I so... don't think you're holding that one by yourself, buddy. <laughs> That's why he's picking back it right now, while also glaring at. Gareth, uh, Gareth telling it with a look that says get your ass over here. So <laughs> any, everybody who's going to be trying to get the crystal out of out of where it is, roll athletics. And do I get it do I get advantage because of my uh anchor with with the crystal with the uh, crystals? You get anybody who's got an advent anybody who's got an anchor with um crystals gets gets one stack of advantage. Make sure to adjust because obviously the chasers aren't here anymore they're dead oh wait you said athletics not acrobatics sorry mm -hmm. yeah athletics because it's about strength oh baby okay two two out of four isn't bad you the thing is slighter than you lighter than you would have thought it was going to be but still is it's still kind of heavy unwieldy more likely yeah you was Uh, what about that? Probably what about that big boss lady? But uh, <laughs> there's nothing left of that. Mm -hmm. Also, I, we could just say that I called upon some uh, unearthly friends to help us carry the thing too. Yeah, and you're you're basically carrying the thing like like you like like um lumberjacks carrying a log. Um, just heave ho just heave hoeing the thing into the into the storage of the sh better ship. Um. But it it is still it is still heavy as anybody who's ever had to had to carry had to carry multi man logs will tell you. Gunda is all, the, after we get on there. Gunda jump, jumps out and starts scavenging all the fishes we killed. Yeah, you you do manage to find some bags. So you have you the the good news is that you managed to scavenge a good a good amount of fish. The bad news is the amount when I say an amount of fish, I mean fifty. <laughs> fifty pounds worth of fifty pounds worth of fish. The really good, um, really good. Looks up, but then looks at Sam. Sam will probably eat a fourth of this tonight. The the rest of the rest of the fish are too far into the muck to salvage. 
Otherwise, you would have had a lot more than just 50 pounds worth of fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, um, that's or a, or a day's work if you're fishing in Alaska. Actually, not even a day. That's just two hours worth. <laughs> but as you he you do manage to head, you do manage to head out, although um, Sam, I want you to roll athletics because you're because the ship is going to need a little bit of a push. Um, get uh, wedging its wedging itself out a little bit. Any advantage or just a normal roll? Um, you are dealing with airships, so one advantage. Fuck. It's... They wedged it in good. Bitch is stuck. Going back to like. No. I wouldn't suggest no. that. No. 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 You risk damaging the ship. Besides, Gonda's, Gonda's already got it. Yep. Like you, as you, you see Gonda, like out there pushing as well, and was able to get it. Monk. Um. Blowing up, a, blowing up a Leviathan from the inside. That's that, that's still floating in the sky. Probably not a good idea. You can toss the thing in the hole once you're off, once you're off. Yeah, once we're aloft and and home free and away from the freaking worm. As, once we're away from splash damage. Mm -hmm. Please. Now then, unless there's anything else you, we got to do or salvage Let's from the, the original ship. Let's get. Let us depart. You took it. You took everything that w that was worth that was worth taking, and there's no there's not enough time to take the cannon. Not like we have ammunition for it anyway. True. No. No. Gumda walks over, takes the bomb, and places, it, and then gives it to Aris. <laughs> This. Keep this from her until we're safely away. So, so. I'd rather not die from a from a demolition obsessive person. So as you pull out, as you pull out of the thing, uh, you you do um you do see Kaede to toss the toss the bomb in the hole that the ch that the chasers left. And you get, and unfortunately, the 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 area in there ex explodes. But all all it just leaves all it just leaves is just another big hole in the Leviathan's stomach, with 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 the juices and stuff pour, pouring out. But it's still, all it's still floating de fl a floating corpse. So if you're It is curious how one that is dead can still maintain its levitation. An interesting prospect. Nature. You probably lose crazy. it after a while, you know. Na nature's a crazy thing. Let's just get going. Well. Oh. <laughs> 
Yep. So, as you, so you you eventually do manage to get within distance, and you and from where you are out in the sky, you can see you can see the thing um, just flo just floating in the middle in the middle of the sky with no with um no with a, with with nothing help nothing holding it aloft but it's not sinking it's just there that's a lot of gas so Glumda goes into one of the cabins and tries to get a nap in. So hold hold on a moment. Let me make sh make sure I have all of my notes in front of me. So the skies are calm as you pilot the vessel away from the carnage. The only sound is the smooth hum of the engine as your airship bobs along the surface of the clouds. In the quiet of the endless azure, you take stock of your situation. The hearth crystal in your hold is large enough to save Gelspar, and the smaller shard powering your new ship is yours to do with as you please. As Adriel comes into view, an explosion booms in the distance, followed by another and another. Smoke and flame erupt from the bridges ar around the slum as a fleet of chaser ships swarms below the city. One by one, they sever the lines tethering Gelspar to the rest of Adriel. The district starts listing to one side with a terrible groan of metal and wood. The iron frame of the sky elevator shrieks under the strain, twisting like a huge wind chime before tearing apart at the middle. The shaft topples, pitching into the abyss below. Even from a distance, you can hear screams rising from the tilted streets as buildings and derelict ships lean and tumble overboard. The chasers cut the last line and the district starts sinking into the clouds. The airships turn away from the falling slum. None go back to evacuate the residents. The people of, Ge of Gelspar have been abandoned. The crystal in your hold might be strong enough to save them, but you will have to act quickly. So... Either you can either use the you can either affix the crystal to save Gelspar or bring the bring the crystal directly to Kendrick. We have no time to waste. Too many lives at stake. Mm -mm. <laughs> we haul ass ass and get the crystal so the people can use it better. Come on. You, sh you shove the throttle forward and dive as fast as the airship will allow, at racing after the falling district. No one hinders your pursuit. The, count the council is no longer interested in Gelsbar now that it's no longer a part of, Ad of Adriel. You all catch up t as Gelsbar sinks beneath the clouds and flies straight for the Starlight Commons. The ground pitches unsteady as you land, and you nearly lose your footing as the entire area tilts sideways the floor rumbling and shaking beneath your feet. Clouds drift past as the slum sinks further and further. The old hearth crystal at the Starlight Commons is even dimmer than it was when you set out. You hurry to replace the failing gem, how hoisting the new crystal into place, its light dispelling the surrounding miasma. Little by little, Gelspar's descent slows, then stops altogether. People cautiously emerge from the buildings around you, staring up into the open azure. For the first time in hundreds of years, they can see the sky without the city above blocking the light. It seems Gelspar is safe, for now. But it's unlikely the district will ever be able to rejoin Adriel. Over the coming days, Gelspar begins to rebuild. The fall that could have pulled the last gas from the, sit from the slum's lungs seems to have breathed new life into it instead. The survivors excavate the rubble of collapsed buildings, help the injured, and repair any unsalvageable structures. Those that cannot be fixed are demolished and cleared for new construction. Finally clear of Adriel's looming shadow, Gelspar seems to be discovering a new identity. There's still poverty and hunger, but for the first time in living memories, 
locals are working together toward a common goal. A few salvage vessels make contact in the days that follow, reopening lines of communication between Adriel and Gelspar. Some residents try to buy their way out. Most stay to rebuild the district they've always called home. Soon, stories of the untethered city will begin to spread. A week after the fall, a messenger from Adriel finds you all with a, with a letter from Kendrick. The note is unsigned, but the precise handwriting is unmistakable. The, the letter reads, That did not go as expected. However, it may work out for the better if the reports are to be believed. Gelspar needed to change or die. It seems it has finally decided to change. I'm willing to qual call your mission a qualified success, despite the setbacks it has presented. The Council is publicly blaming me for Gelspar's fall, even as they privately tell themselves their actions will benefit the city. They made the decision to jettison the district. Cut out the dead wood, Lady Machia said in an open session. Her fellow counselors greeted her with applause, but she would be loath to have those words repeated in the Red Market. The Council thinks I am defeated. There is much that can be done before they learn otherwise. I see the opportunity in every catastrophe, and I am even more dangerous now that I know the truth. Gelspar may have fallen, but the district will rise again, and I intend to rise with it. You will hear from me soon. He may have his own ideas and goals, but it seems that he is not as dark of a soul as I once believed. At the very least, he values life more than most. But well, he's, he's pragmatic. He's, he's, a like a merchant. That. he's a merchant. That's what he wants. Merchants can't sell if they don't have anyone to sell to. There's that. There's... So... The... Gelspar is saved, but it is adrift. For the first time since the slum was jury-rigged together from derelict airships and scrap metal a hundred years ago, its inhabitants are working together to ensure their survival. And you and you guys managed to still keep the still keep the airship because, well, you're not giving it back to the chasers. Um, well, technically the council, but whatever. However, danger still lurks among the dust and rubble. There are those who would see the fallen city sink below the clouds forever, and it will take a strong leader to rally the people, help them put aside their petty squabbles, and ensure that the untethered city rises again. A man named Rook knows that Gelspar will never trust an outsider. Perhaps the people will have more respect for one of their own. But that is a, sto that is a story for, an for another time. Because while we while we are we are not done with the, we are not necessarily done with Gelspar for the t for the time being we are done with the sky with the skies of Axia. We will be we will be back in one week with a little bit of a a little bit of a loose end. <laughs> and of course, of course. Are you Oh yeah, two, sure about two one weeks. week. My correction. We will be back here in two weeks. Do not make the do not make the total recall joke. <laughs> Why once, would I do that? It's not even an Arnold joke. Once we are once we are back, we will we will have one we will have one final story with th with this cast before our great reset. Okay. So, please, so please look forward to that. But un but until then, on behalf of the good brothers present and not present, my name is Mildra. I am your gaming monk. Stay fucking frosty, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>